<clears throat> see that right there? That's how the coronavirus beating us up right now. Just last week, we all thought it was a joke. We were over here laughing. In fact, I made a video asking, should I go to the gym or not? Now look at us. We can't even go to the gym. Yesterday, I got a notification from one of my followers that the gym was closed down. Interested, I inquired. I was like, nah, that can't be true. She was like, oh yeah, it's true. Sent me an email that stated that it was closed down, right? This is before the word even got out. Then I asked when it's supposed to open up again. Guess what she told me? April the 1st. I said, hey, in my head, I was like, that's a good April Fool's joke because you and I both know that if they closed that gym down yesterday, it ain't opening back up April 1st. So you guys don't even be fooled. Anyways, the reason that I'm making this video, right, is because I know a lot of you guys want to know that since the gym's closed down, how much time it's going to take before you lose all of your hard earned gains. It's muscle right here, right? And biceps, triceps, abs. Now, on average, takes about three weeks right that's if you do nothing inactivity to the max so as opposed to doing nothing and letting your muscles atrophy what you want to do is you want to still try to do something and the good thing about this is the longer you've been lifting the longer it's going to take for your muscles to actually atrophy right but if you're a newbie and you haven't been lifting right say for example you just started making gains like a month or two ago if you do nothing for three weeks you're pretty much guaranteed to lose all your progress if you've been lifting one two three years my experienced lifters all my bros out there now three weeks you might lose a little bit but don't worry you can gain that back quick because your muscles build a neurological pathway after you start lifting for a while that will enable you to get the muscle back quick if you lose it that's where that term muscle memory comes from that's another video for a whole nother day that being said like i said it'll take you about three weeks to lose the muscle if you don't do anything but we don't want you to do just not anything right so what i want you to do is first not get complacent all right because what's going to happen is if you get complacent you're going to start working out you're going to mess up on your diet you're going to start doing stupid stuff right you're not even going to do cardio so as opposed to that in this time go ahead and do some calisthenics right push-ups work great push-ups go purchase some dumbbells man if you go get some dumbbells you can maintain pretty well. When I first started lifting weights in my backyard, all I pretty much had was some dumbbells, right? Concrete weights at that. So get you some dumbbells, or if you don't want to do dumbbells, go to the park, do some push-ups, some pull-ups, some sit-ups, work on that cardio. You can do aerobic and anaerobic type sprint, uh, cardiovascular exercises, mix it up. Do sprints, do long distance running, just don't do anything. Because I'd rather that you lose a little weight than just lose a lot of muscle, right? So condition yourself, work on your, work on your weaknesses during this time, but whatever you do, just don't do anything. Cause like I said, I guarantee you that that's going to be one, one big April Fool's joke because April 1st, those gyms are not going to be opening up. And what's going to happen is you're going to get in the habit of not working out for two weeks. Then that two weeks is going to go to three weeks. Then three weeks is going to go to four weeks. Four weeks is going to go to five weeks. And before you know it, boom. Been like eight weeks and you ain't do anything then you gain like 15 pounds you're all sad and depressed that's not gonna be a hot boy summer hot girl summer whatever type of summer you want to have it's probably gonna get canceled too like 2020 has been canceled all right so what i want you to do is since the gyms are closed go buy you some dumbbells go jog go do you some sprints get a jump rope right do anything go learn how to dance but just don't sit at home and do anything all right with that being said, it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's that's why I'm wearing this green Stay Swole shirt. You can catch, you can get one of these at swoletees.com. Go ahead and cop those. I'm about to get out here real quick. But before I do, you already know the routine. Go ahead and like this video. Share this video. It's your boy E Fitness. I'm out.